My name's Ken Whiting. I'm a world champion whitewater paddler and I've led trips and taught kayaking around the world. As an athlete and explorer, my lifelong passion has been to challenge myself, meet interesting new people, discover beautiful places, and share these experiences with others. This is the story of these adventures. This is Paddle Tales. Hey everyone, I'm Ken Whiting, and here we are again with another episode of Paddle Tales. It's a series that explores some of the most amazing places in the world and goes on cool paddling adventures along the way. Now, in this episode, we're gonna explore a land that's filled with rivers, lakes, and mountains by whitewater kayak and by sea kayak. But before we get started, please subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already, so that you get notified the next time an episode goes live. Now in this episode, we're heading to another place that can best be described as a wilderness paradise, with beautiful rolling hills, countless lakes, and wild rivers. It's a region that features endless opportunities for outdoor adventure, along with one of Canada's top adventure sport destinations. In this episode of Paddle Tales, we're exploring the Laurentians. Sandwiched between Canada's capital city of Ottawa and the never sleepy city of Montreal, the Laurentians, known as Les Laurentides by French Canadians, takes its name from the chain of mountains that run through it. Although it's the most accessible region of Quebec, it's a land with an amazing amount of ecological diversity and wide open spaces. Smack dab in the center of the region, Mont Tremblant is a resort town that draws countless visitors and for good reason. It's a beautiful and lively place. But although it's probably the most popular destination in the Laurentians, there are so many other places worth exploring in the area. Looking to get off the beaten track a bit, my adventures are getting started at Lac Poisson Blanc, a regional park with incredible canoe and kayak camping. To show me around, I'm meeting up with Fabien Hervé, a local paddler who loves exploring the world by kayak as much as I do. This is a pretty big lake. I, mean, I love how many different islands there are. It's, uh, yes. it's almost a maze of islands. Right, it's amazing. Actually, it's uh, 30 kilometers long, four kilometers wide, yeah. more than 80 islands. But uh, we have the opportunity to camp on um, about 35, and there is about 45 camping sites. Oh, wow. It's on private islands. I don't know, could we buy an island? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, love an island. Would be I would nice. love an island. I want that island. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, you see, it's summertime, it's busy. I mean, all the islands are occupied by people now, but uh, you don't see them. No, no, that's the amazing thing is, yeah, you do, there's a lot of vehicles in the parking lot, but there's not a lot of traffic out here. No. <laughs> Although Lac Poisson Blanc is definitely a beautiful lake, its beauty isn't what makes it unique because the Laurentians are packed with gorgeous lakes and rivers. What's so awesome about it is how accessible they've made it. You don't need to be a hardcore canoeist or kayaker to enjoy the place. In fact, you can rent canoes, kayaks, or paddle boards, and you can even have your luggage delivered to and from your campsite. Now I can tell you there was definitely a time when I would have laughed at the idea of someone carrying my gear to camp for me. But age has delivered more than an aching back and a redistribution of body hair. It's also come with the acceptance that there's nothing wrong with giving up a little bit of the hardcore to make your adventures a little cushier. What I love about a lake like this is that you can all pretty much take anything you want out here. You know, it's it's big, so if it was windy, you know, it'd be nice to be in a kayak, but even in a canoe, there's so many islands, you always can stay sheltered behind, right. uh, behind right. the islands and, and find your way. It's a great canoeing lake, great kayaking lake. Yeah, right, right. I mean, I love kayaking, but there's something really cool about 
loading all sorts of stuff <laughs> in a canoe. Right, right. And showing up at camp with yeah. lawn chairs. Yeah, and <laughs> right. And usually you see people who are canoeing here, they have everything on the canoe. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. It's been an absolutely amazing day on the water, and it's only getting more beautiful as the sun starts its final descent. But our stomachs are starting to rumble, and so we're both excited to get to camp, to get dinner going, and to wind down for the night. I'll tell you what, the only thing better than a good day of paddling is finishing a good day of paddling camping on an island. Although we had a beautiful time on Lac Poisson Blanc, one of the things the Laurentians is well known for is having great white water. And so next on the list is a trip to the Rouge River, one of the most popular whitewater rivers in Eastern Canada and home to New World rafting. New World has been running trips on the Rouge for 38 years and offers both high and low adventure rafting experiences depending on what you're after. But what New World is really proud of is the experience and passion of their guides. Many of these guides are lifers who absolutely love sharing the river experience with people. And so they travel around the world to work on the best rivers, which brings them back here to the Rouge every spring and summer. To join me for a run down the river, I've met up with Derek Klapka, a lifelong river guide and kayaker who knows the river as well as anyone. My name is Derek Klapka. I am a senior river guide on the Rouge River and have been for about 23 years. I showed up here in 1996 looking for a job. Uh, I ended up working in the kitchen and then uh, kind of found it funny that people were paying people to, to go down the river, so I thought that was a pretty cool idea. So I started going down the river, did a lot of duckying or sport yakking, then started going down a raft more often and then more kayaking. And then uh, by the end of that season, I was guiding a boat. And uh, 23 years later, I'm still doing it. Uh, I don't know, I like it, I love it. I, well, I guess I love it. Yeah, he, he did this for this long, nonstop, for like more than 300 days of the year. It's not because you like it, it's because you love it. I spend a lot more time now in New Zealand. There is a saying in Fakatani that's called Ko'o Te Awa Te Awa Ko'o. I am the river, the river is me. It's just like a, it's more like feeling, I guess in, in my case, it, it is a connection or a symbiosis with something that you have an affinity with. So whether I'm in a kayak or a raft, I just like going down a river. It is probably one of the best ways to ever travel or discover the heart of a country. Because you could walk beside a river, you could fly over a river, but being within or on the river you're running through the veins or the arteries of a country or, or a continent. So this is it? Yeah, this is the washing machine section. But the real washing machine she is the pit over there. Yeah. Are you going to go into it? Uh, I'll think about it right That's before. It's very non-committal. It's very non-committal. <laughs> Which means... It's, it's like, it's actually, and it's almost at its crunchiest right now. And if you hit the washing machine, you're semi-right. You could end up in a spin cycle. So a bit of a Maytag kind of thing happening. I like it. And then swim to the right, and there you go. Swim to the right? Yeah, if you're not in your boat, or you're not... What the heck? If you're not in your boat, or if you're not... <laughs> You're you not, swim to the right. If you're not in your boat, keep your paddle and I'll, I'll catch your boat.
Well, that does it for this episode of Paddle Tales. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also leave a comment down below if you'd like and subscribe to Paddle TV so you get notified when the next episode goes live. Last but not least, stay tuned for a sneak peek at next week's Paddle Tales adventure. Next time on Paddle Tales, I'm heading to the authentic Quebec region, a beautiful and wide open landscape that offers incredible access to the natural world through its two national parks, 15 regional parks, and three wildlife reserves. We'll paddle through the winding marshes of Mont Tremblant National Park, and then explore the urban paddling around Trois-Rivières, which has one of the most active paddling scenes that you'll find anywhere. The authentic Quebec region is a stunning and diverse place and you won't want to miss it.